it was undecorated, it was pared down, it uses materials like tubular steel which were not used in the domestic environment. The tubular steel chair tended in Britain not to go into the sitting room or the dining room until the 1960s, but tended to go into the church hall, the school hall, that sort of thing. So um, it took a while for that, that um, type of material and application to be accepted. Thompson, the last surviving French TV manufacturer, was at death's door. It was acquired by the French government, who in their last ditch bid to save it, brought in Stark to say, think again about what TVs might look like. So he had this fascinating idea of reminding us that TVs, when they first came to the home, were smuggled in looking like furniture. They were put in mahogany cases, very shiny and polished things, a household shrine. So he said, well, let's remember that in a different way. Let's use chipboard, very cheap material, to give it a moulded shape and form and to sit next to plastic around the screen. So it was an amazing example of making us, giving a story, a personality, a character to the material. Didn't save the company from oblivion of course because making TV sets was by that time far cheaper in the Far East. Clive Sinclair was another fascinating force on industrial design. He made a huge success out of low-cost computing. He produced something called the Black Watch, the first digital watch. And then somehow success went to his head and he thought he was going to rethink transport, personal transport, with the notorious C5, which on one idea was on one on one side was a fantastic idea, cheap electronic transport, and yet on the other side was a terrible idea because his designers didn't really consider what it would be like to sit in what looks like a motorised bath chair in traffic. It 
So design is all about mass production. It's pr about producing um, a design for, it could be a pen, it could be a telephone, it could be a motorway signage system that is then rolled out um, and often produced um, cheaply and efficiently.